Okay, picking up from where we last, uh, last left off, we created our registration form and we created our validation that allowed the uh, new user to create an account. And we're storing that information within our database. So right here is the uh, account I created, the username, the password, which is md5hash, and the practice fake email address I used. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, create our login page. All right, let's start with a div and give this an ID of container. All right, so we can, let's put an H1 tag and have it say, login, please. And I'm gonna add at the end of this two span tags for the class of bottom corner, and I'll just call it bottom corner one. Put nothing in between the span tags, and then we're gonna do. One more and call it bottom corner two. Okay. All right, and we're gonna close H1 tag. I'll come back to these part uh, these in a minute when we uh, start working with our stylings. But let's go ahead and continue with the creating the form. So we need a form. Okay, action, we're gonna go ahead and make this a self-submitting form. So we can do this with PHP echo server PHP self. Okay. And with most login forms, since you're not wanting to pass the information through the URL, we're gonna do method equals post. Okay. All right, and let's go ahead and create a, a div with, hmm, okay, let's do a label, do this for, label for username. And do username. input type equals text name is going to be username hmm. and I'm not going to use any JavaScript so I'm not going to bother with an ID to so I'm not going to use it even though it's still a good practice to assign an ID to your input forms uh, fields I'm not going to do it for this, uh, in this case. Do another div. Label for. Okay, input. Type. Password. Name, password. Actually, you know what? Let's use our label for in the P word that way. We're going to do the same thing. Okay. And then we need our submit button. We're going to use just button type equals submit. name submit and we can go ahead and click
do something like login. Okay, save that. Live view. That's what we have so far. Okay, so let's go ahead and create some stylings for this. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in our header in between our head tag. Let's place a style tag. Let's give this a background. Okay, we just give it a background of a gray. Then we can do container. Do width of, let's say, 400 pixels. Margin. Top. Let's try to put this in the center of the screen. So let's do 255 pixels. Okay, we're going to do a background, white, let's save that, and let's go into live view, oh, we got to center it left and right also, so we can do margin, left, auto, margin, right, auto, Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do? We let's start with this. Let's start with this. Uh, the H one tag. We can do margin. left minus 10 pixels margin right minus 10 pixels I'm going to set the position to relative Let's do margin bottom actually you know what I'm gonna leave that there for now actually no margin we're gonna leave that just like that for now we're gonna set the height to 60 pixels set the line height 60 pixels. Okay, we're setting it to 60 pixels. All right, and let's set a background color to a, a weird looking nice blue. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, this is what we got so far. All right, now, if you remember those spans that I created in the markup right here, those are going to become little corners that are going to wrap around the, the header. So let's go ahead and go back in our code. And this is supposed to be zero. Text align center so that the text is always going to be centered. And let's go ahead and make uh, the corners. So we can do class. Oh.
Nice. Bottom corner one. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, first set the position to absolute left. This is going to be the left side zero. Top 100%. Okay, we're going to set the height. Zero. Line height, zero, width, zero. Okay, now we're going to create the shape by creating a border on the right. We're going to do this 10 pixels, solid. And since this is going to be like a wrapping effect, we want it to appear to be like the backside of that, uh, the background color. Like if this was a backside of a sticker or something. So let's just make it a little bit darker color than what we have. We can go. Something like that. And then we're going to do a border, bottom, 10 pixels, solid, trans, parent. All right, let's go ahead and uh, look at this in Firefox. See what this will look like. Uh, nope, did something wrong. Hmm. Okay, let's look over the code. See the positions correct. Uh, that looks right. Oh, found the problem. That needs to be an X. Save that. Refresh. There we go. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing for this side. So to do it for the right, let's just go ahead and copy and paste. Just change that to a two. Change this to left. Change this to right. And I want to change this to 40 and 40. I think it looks nicer. Okay, let's see, we got a problem. May help if I spell everything same or at least attempt to spell things correctly but all right <laughs> so we got that um let's add a little bit more stylings to this we can do uh to the container and do padding good padding on the top 10 pixels padding at the Bottom, 10 pixels. Uh, 
All right, let's go ahead and give this a hmm. border one pixel solid. We give it a lighter gray. And then let's do a border radius four pixels. Okay. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and style the actual form. So we can do something like this. Uh, form div heading or let's do left, do padding left of uh, 10 pixels. Let's do label. Okay, display block. So now it should look more like that. Okay. All right, and then let's go ahead and add a div underneath of the form right here, which will display any error me uh, messages that we might have uh, with the form. So we can just do this. We can do something like PHP if Set, call it errors. Okay. I'm going to do end if here. And we can do a div ID errors. Okay. All right. So we've created the form. Uh, what's left is to create the login functionality. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here so that this video won't be too long. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time where we're going to create the functionality, the functionality to log the user in. And then we're going to start the CSS for the profile page. All right. Thank you.